struggling to grind in Pet Sim 99. Do you even have a huge or an exclusive yet? Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you easy ways to grind. Maybe you're in Tech World, maybe you're not in Tech World. Maybe you just want to know some gr grinding tips for when the update comes out on Saturday that I might miss. But that's fine. So yeah, so, so say you're, you're not in, uh, what do you call it, tech world yet, and you're still grinding your life away to get here. That could be you. It could not be you. You could be in tech world, but you just haven't made it to, uh, what do you call it? to the final area and you want to make it to the final area so you can have a chance to even be hatching a ra to get your first rainbow huge because look at this and then you can go back here turn on your auto hatch have your best luck potions on go up here and start hatching as simple as that But everybody needs a grinding plan on how to get here. Here are my enchants for grinding. Here is all my pet teams for grinding. And this is what I do for when I grind. So yeah, you must know that like, I'm, I right now have 74 pet equips. One of the main things you need is huges, huge, hu huges, Some of the main things you need are huges or, uh, what do you call it? Huges or exclusives to help you out in this grinding. And like, this is a little pay to win, but if you go to the exclusive shop, ooh, they reset this. Okay, so let's scroll down, scroll down. Let's go here. This is where you could buy stuff. If you buy this for 400 Robux, you can't get a huge. But if you buy the, the enchantment that goes for 112,000 Robux, that's going to go for a lot of money, okay? And then you can go ahead and buy some huges and exclusives. If we go here to my pet team, you can see I have a decent amount of huges plus this rainbow elephant. Only a thousand exists, and it's level 44, and I still haven't charmed it. I'm looking for a royalty charm, so I'm probably just gonna wait until I get like a bunch of diamonds and stuff. But right now, I'm not saving, I'm spending to get my pet equips up. Because I want to at least have my Valentine's cat up right before the next update. Plus, I want a lot more huges and exclusives. Also, and that, so this is a good team. Say you're, this is what a team I would say was pretty, would be pretty good. And you wanna be at least rank, like a decent rank. Like this could be a decent team for grinding, okay? Say this is your team for grinding. That's pretty decent, I'm not going to lie. You have a few, ex you know what? I'm gonna have to remove some of these exclusives. Yeah, you probably can't afford that. So say this is your team, and it's a pretty small team, but it works. How are you supposed to grind through every level? But you don't have any crazy enchant and you're just a normal player trying to grind your way to tech in tech world say you're right here and you keep on ha this is a fine team but a better team would be with huge pets let's say also you hatched a huge pet. you have a huge happy computer good for you I actually only have one so soon I'm gonna start like one day, once I start getting rich, 
getting more exclusives to maybe if I get a Titanic or so. I'm going to start, like, making my inventory a little more cleaner and stuff. So I'm going to say the truth. The main things for grinding is pet equips. Also, if you're grinding this egg for huges, buy the huge hunter game pass if you have enough. And buy a huge hunter thing. Some people say it's not good. I say it's good. That got me. I bought it. Five minutes later, I get a huge elephant. And, of course, I didn't have our recording. I was just hatching. And I hear the music. And I was like, rainbow! So yeah, that shocked me. So yeah, if so keep on grinding. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.